Hi, welcome back to my channel, guys, and welcome back to another episode of Cruising with Goldie. Guys, in today's episode, I'm gonna make a video which you've been requesting from ages. Yes, guys, I am going to make a video on the bar department. Yes. So, so many people have requested me to please make a video. So, in this video, I'm gonna cover everything about the bar department. Maybe my information is a little different because all the company runs differently. So whatever I know about the bar department, I will put in this video. So guys, are you excited for this video? At least say yes, I'm, I'm making this video for you. So are you excited? All right then. So without wasting time, let's start this video. It's awesome. Education, qualification. To work on a cruise ship, what is the qualification you require to work in a bar department? The education qualification. And you will be surprised again. It's only 10th pass. Guys, just to clear your 10th, you can work on a cruise ship in a bar department. Number two, what is the position you're going to start your career in a bar department? So guys, you're going to start your career on a cruise ship in a bar department from a bar utility. There is like most possibility that you're going to start as a bar utility because you don't have a previous cruise experience or on a land also you have a very minimum experience. So bar utility is what you're going to start from. Thank you. Number three, experience guys. If you want to work in a bar department from where you can get this experience which feel you need to have an experience so guys listen to this carefully you should work in three stars four stars five stars huge resorts all these properties if you have a good experience in fmb services definitely you'll get selected in a bar department so when they conduct an interview and in, especially in india they always look for a people who has a good experience in all these properties so please guys if you want to work in a bar department this is your answer three stars four stars five star huge resort go for it number four money 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 so guys now i'm going to talk about your salary so if you're working as a bar utility so what is the salary you're going to earn so it will be anything around 600 to 800 dollars so if you're working as a bar utility this is what you're going to earn 600 to 800 dollars depend on company to company if you get more than that i'll be the happiest person for you number five your working hours so guys i always tell in my videos there are always two shift one is the c day one is the full day so c day you will always work 10 hours minimum but the four days you might work a little lesser and it's also depend on your supervisor your manager your company to company you might get a day off also so it depends on the company to company but c day you should make up your mind that you will you have to work 10 hours every time whenever there is a c day in a bar department if you're working as a bar utility bar server and waiter whatever so so minimum will stick to 10 hours a day at least now i'll talk about number six and you've been waiting for this your promotions yes of course nobody wants to work in a utility i know that so you want to get promoted 
So what you going to promote it as? You will be promoted as a bar server. Yes guys, you'll be promoted as a bar server. And you'll be surprised. I met so many people in my life on a cruise ship who like who can become an, a bartender but they don't want to become a bartender seriously you won't believe me yes i have met with so many people because the bar server make more money than a bartender yes so that is why nobody wants to become a bartender but still one of my friend was working as a bar server and he used to make Mm, around five thousand dollars believe me four thousand to five thousand dollars every month because he gets a lot of tips <laughs> so if you work as a bar utility your second position will be a bar server so this will be your promotion and after that you'll become a bartender once you go on board you'll understand how much you will earn how much you want because but guys every ship you won't make that much money so I'll stick to the bar server. Might you will get around two thousand to two thousand five hundred dollars every month for sure. And if it's lesser, I'm sorry. If it's more, you're lucky. Number seven. So if you're going to work as a bar utility, what will be your duties? So it's very important, guys. Now please listen to me carefully. As a bar utility, the word says everything. Utility. So what utility does? They all they always involve in cleaning. So what you need to do? You need to clean the glasses, bring the glasses to the bar counter, give it to the bartender. Okay, you will be in charge of the pantry. You need to make sure the pantry is always clean, look neat and tidy. You will also be in charge of bar setup. Now, what is the bar setup? the bartender will give you a list of items which he wants from the stock room so what you're going to do is you need to take the list you go run to the stock room put everything in the trolley bring it up give it to the bartender he'll tell you to put this there that there so it, basically the bar setup then you need to also help in a delivery now many of you does not know what is a delivery it's the worst on the cruise ship because you have to carry lot of boxes and these boxes are heavy guys i'm not kidding it's just these boxes are liquor boxes the snacks boxes the cigarettes boxes so, uh, so there will be so many boxes of liquor then you need to do all this delivery also take this delivery from the main gate and go to the stock room and put it there and later half the whatever the bartender will tell you then you need to bring that bottles the particular bottles take it from the stock room and give it to the bartender so basically as a bar utility you're mostly involved in cleaning your setup the pantry bringing the stocks delivery this is all you're going to do as a bar utility guys so if you really want to work in a bar department and i'm telling you this is not a bad department to work because later half of the career once you become a bar server or a bartender you will really earn good money Hello everyone, this is how your crew bar will look like. This is the place where you're going to have a drink every day or in a like, couple of days, or whatever you, whenever you want actually. So this is afternoon time, that is why it's empty, but at night it's always full. Okay, so what you get is you have some games, TV, you can see, uh, you can watch a football match. Mostly they watch football match, I don't know why. And I and you can see a PS4 also. You can connect. You can take a CD from the crew office and put it there and watch, play PS4. So this is how it's. It's a very basic kind of a crew bar. Not much about it. Not very lavish or something. This is this is how your crew counter go, going to look like. If you selected as a bar in a bar department this is where you're going to work this is the bar counter where we order a drink so at night you'll see a bartender and a bar utility which helping us to get a drink you see the water bottles and all this you have to bring it from the stock room and stuck it over here that's it guys see the the reason i'm showing so you'll get some idea like how's the your crew bar going to look like 
because on the ship every ship the crew bar will look like differently but at least you'll have an idea now how's your crew bar going to look like so guys if you like my video please subscribe to my channel once you subscribe to my channel it motivates me more and more to make more videos informing you how the cruise ship different different department works so guys that's it from me now and bye from cruising with Goldie.